Hello, everybody. Good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. Welcome. I hope everybody is okay at home, healthy, and ready. We'll have another class here on soon. As you may know, this is pre intermediate module number one, and this is class number eight. So, welcome, y'all. It's nice to have you one more time. Let me show you what's going to be today's agenda so you can see what are we going to do today. Um, these are the things we're going to work on today. Again, this is section number three, and we're still working with how much is it, right? We're going to work today with comparatives, adjectives, comparative with adjectives. Um, this is pre intermediate module number one, and this is class number eight on Thursday. Thursday 24. That's what we have today. So it's nice to have you. Good evening and welcome. Hello, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Stephanie. Good evening. How are you, Stephanie? Hi, sir. And you? I'm pretty good. I have a question for you. Do you have a pet? No. Tell me why you don't have a pet. I don't like. Oh, you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very honest. Sí, pues, o sea, sí lo puedo ver y todo, pero mm, tengo mi hijo y mucha enfermedad, así que no. <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yes. No, bitch, no. Yeah, thank you so much, Stephanie, for sharing that. What about you, Brenda? Do you have a pet? Bitch, no. Brenda. No. Do you have a pet? Do you have a pet, Brenda? Yes or no? Hola, teacher. Do you have a pet? Hello. Do you have a, do you have a pet? Like, yes. what, what is that, Brenda? Yes. Um dog and that oh what's the name of the dog yes um uh dog my dog my dog no my name dog is my is, dog's uh, name is uh luna and bagira luna and, and bagira that, and my my cat is uh Maya. My cat's my cat's name is Maya. Yes. Okay, very good. What about you, Carolina El Carmen? Uh huh. Carolina, do you have a pet? Hi, good evening. Do you have a pet? Yes, a cat. What is a cat? What is the name of that one? Is Pelusa. Oh, Pelusa. Is it big or small, Carolina? Is bigger. Oh, it's a big one. Okay, thank you so much. Very big. Yes. Um, somebody's running in the chat. Oh, buenas. Um, okay, Griselda. Thank you so much for letting me know. Leslie, oh, oh, okay, Leslie, thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, thank you so much for letting me know. Um, okay, people, so I'm going to take the attendance. When you hear your beautiful name, you say present, I'm here, okay? Give me a minute. I think I have the attendance here. Alison Celaya. Alison? No? Okay. No, she isn't here. What about Anna Marisol Zamora? Oh, I think Marisol, she wrote in the chat, right? Thank you so much. And what about Andrea Marisol Represa? I think Represa, I think she, she wrote in the chat as well. But, but what's up? What about you, Andrea Valeria Vanessa? Andrea Vanessa Landos. Are you here? Um, 
Vanessa Landas, no? Okay. What about Barbara? Barbara Cabrera. Are you here, Barbara? No? Okay, she in here. What about Brenda Castro? You're here, right, Brenda? Yes, present. Thank you so much. Uh, Carolina del Carmen, you're here as well. Well, Claudia Lopez. Hello, Claudia. Hello, teacher. I'm here. Perfect, Claudia. And then we're going to have Cristina Monge. Cristina Monge. No? Okay. I think somebody wrote in the chat. That was, was let me check the chat. Um, Jennifer Guadalupe. Okay, we have Jennifer, Griselda, and Leslie. Okay. Um, Daniela Asensio. Hello, Daniela. Welcome. You here? No? Okay, let's continue with. Thank you so much. Um, Edgar Portillo. Are you here, Edgar? Hello, hello, Edgar. Welcome, welcome, Edgar. No? Okay, let's continue with Ernesto Ventura. Hello, Ernesto. Are you here? No. What about Griselda? Griselda, let me check. Okay, Jennifer. Yes, Griselda, she wrote in the chat. Okay, Griselda, thank you so much. Ivania Stephanie. Ivania Stephanie. No? Okay. What about Jennifer Guadalupe Torres? Hello, Jennifer. Dear Thank you so much. Um, Jennifer Moss. Jennifer Moss. No? Okay. What about Jennifer Marroquin? Jennifer Marroquin? Oh, somebody wrote in the chat. Jennifer Guadalupe Torres. Hey, Griselda. Okay, Griselda Lisette. Let me check that, Griselda Lisette. Yes, thank you so much. So Jennifer Andrea Marroquin, she is in here, right? What about Jocelyn Mancia? I'm here, teacher. Perfect, Jocelyn. Um, Karen Garcia. Present, teacher. Wonderful, Karen. Um, Carla Colocho. I'm here. Beautiful, thank you so much. Um, Laura Molina. Present, teacher. Perfect, Laura. It's nice to have you one more time. Um, Leslie. I think you're here, right? Present. Wonderful, Leslie. Thank you so much. Um, Lisbeth. Lisbeth. Hello, teacher. Have a good night. Good evening. Welcome. Um, Lorena del Carmen Hernandez. Here, teacher. Welcome, Lorena. Question. No, I'm sorry. Next one is going to be Lucia Elena Cepeda. Present teacher. Thank you, Lucia. Okay, let me check. Okay, Lucia. Uh, Mayra Mendez. Hello, Mayra. Good evening. No? She's absent. What about Raul? Hello, Raul. Hi. You okay, Raul? Wonderful. Dalila. Hello, Present Dalila. Hello. Um, Ruth del Carmen Chicas. Hello, Ruth. Present, teacher. Welcome. And the last one is going to be you, Stephanie. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Edgar. Okay, Edgar. Let me check that. Let me check that, Edgar. Give me a minute. Edgar is here. He brought in the chat. Let me check. Um, okay, Edgar, thank you so much for letting me know. Andrea Landos, thank you so much for letting me know. Let me check. Landos, right? Andrea Vanessa Landos. Okay, Andrea, thank you so much.
Okay, people, let's begin. Random questions. Let's begin with you, Dalila. Dalila, what is this big celebration people from the United States are having this weekend? Or this week, let's say. What is that big celebration people from the United States are celebrating this week, Dalila? Ninguna <laughs> teacher. Okay, don't worry. We'll help you with that. Thank you so much, Dalila. Stephanie, help her, please. Thank you. Um, Será Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. Very good. Thanksgiving, Dalila. Dalila, in the U.S., people are celebrating this week Thanksgiving. Do you know what is Thanksgiving? Dalila, do you know what is Thanksgiving? Exactly. Very good. Google it, Dalila. That's wonderful. Okay, that's wonderful. Very good. Jocelyn, Natalia. Hello, Jocelyn. Hello, teacher. Uh, do you know what is Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, that celebration, Thanksgiving. Do you know what is that? Puedo traducirlo. <laughs> okay, okay. We will help you. Don't worry, Jocelyn. We will help okay. you. Claudia, Claudia, can you help us? What is Thanksgiving? Something about it. It's a... Um... It's a day and uh, Thanksgiving for every um every for every um for yes. so, for example um works study in um family yes. or um friends exactly very good claudia thank you so much great job that is true ruth give okay. us more details about it please thank you ruth este thanksgiving estaba preguntando qué día era o algo así something like that please what is your answer este el acción de gracia yes acción de gracias exactly very good Okay, and Claudia was mentioning about Thanksgiving is when you think, when you think for everything you have, right? If you have a job, right? If you have like, I don't know, health, if you are studying, which is amazing, right? If you have friends, uh, like you, you are thankful for everything. Very good, okay? Daniela Magali. Thank you, Daniela Magali. Daniela Magali. Yes. Daniela, do you know what kind of food people get during Thanksgiving? <coughs> the people are usually chicken okay chicken okay thank you so much something else oh please <laughs> brenda thank you uh the people of turkey oh turkey turkey yes, okay turkey. so um um, Daniela Magali, chicken is para aquí el Salvador. We make panes con pollo, right? So we have like that thing here in El Salvador, but in the US, they love turkey. ¿Y cómo hacen el turkey? Anybody knows? Horneado, no sé cómo. Exactly. It's, it's pavo horneado. How do you say pavo horneado, people? Mm -hmm. How do you say pavo horneado? You can Google it. Back your turkey, Salvasi. Uh, no, you can Google no. it if you want to. So you can let me know. Yeah. Uh -huh. How do you say pavo horneado? Mm -hmm. Yes. Andrea Landos, how do you say pavo horneado? 
Turkey. <laughs> um, El pavo ya lo grill? tiene. One more time. Grill. Turkey, grill, grill. Turkey? No, 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 no. Thank you so much. El, el pavo ya lo tiene. Solo le falta el horneado, right? Yeah. So it's like very good. Horneading chicken? Horneading? Oh, eh, no, Jocelyn. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Lorena, thank you. Lorena. Bake turkey. Bake turkey. Bake turkey. Bake, yes, that is correct. Pero hay otra palabra que es un poquito like specific. A little bit more specific like that. Bake is, is okay, right? Pero hay otra que es un poco, a little bit more specific. Which is bake, very... of, bake of turkey. Bake turkey? That is correct. Pero um, estoy buscando por una que se dice rose. Rose turkey. Rose, rose turkey. turkey. Rose turkey. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanksgiving is a big day in the U.S. Okay. So, um, let me check, let me check if I have a video here so you can watch this thing. Okay, give me a minute, please, people. I'm sorry for that. I would like to show you a video, okay, before we get into the material for today, which is related to this big event that is called Thanksgiving. So you can have an idea what do people do in Thanksgiving. Okay, so that's the thing I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna show you a video about Thanksgiving and then we're gonna get into the... Hello, and welcome to this week's episode Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of Dinner Table, the show about food. My name is Anthony Russo, and today we're going to be talking about Thanksgiving. As you know, North America is a huge melting pot. Do you think everyone celebrates Thanksgiving in the same way? Do you think they eat the same foods? Let's ask some people and find out. How would you explain Thanksgiving to someone outside of North America? Well, you know, Thanksgiving's a unique holiday. It's kind of a time to sit back, relax, and a little reflection on how you should be thankful for what you have. Hi, what's your name? Uh, my name's Joe. What do you folks serve for Thanksgiving Day? Traditional Thanksgiving Day meal? Oh, yeah, we have the big turkey. We usually have two of them because there's so many of us. <laughs> cranberry sauce, uh, mashed potatoes, gravy. Yeah, it's great. A lot of food, a lot, a of, lot food. of food. A lot of food, a lot of food. Now, Joe, you have a lot of food, a lot of dessert. There must be a lot of dishes in cleanup. Do you pitch in? Cleaning is definitely a part of it. You wash dishes, you clean the table, you bring it back into the kitchen. So there's got to be a lot of leftovers. <laughs> nothing, nothing beats leftovers after Thanksgiving. Yeah, and that lasts you through the turkey. weekend. Oh, yeah. for the whole week. There's so much food. <laughs> Do you have a favorite part of Thanksgiving? My favorite part of Thanksgiving is coming home and seeing everybody and seeing my grandmother, who I love very dearly. That's always nice. Any family traditions that have carried on throughout the years? The main family tradition is probably football. <laughs> because the Detroit Lions always play on Thanksgiving, so my uncle always has to watch the Detroit Lions play. And what food is served on Thanksgiving? Well, we'll have a turkey. We'll also have stuffing and macaroni and cheese and mashed potatoes and sweet potatoes, but I don't really like sweet potatoes. <laughs> you got a lot of food there. Must be some leftovers. There are not a whole lot of leftovers by the time Thanksgiving is done. And Grandma gets all of them if there are any. <laughs> Grandma gets all of them. Grandma gets whatever she wants. <laughs> That's great. Any uh, specific dishes that are family tradition? Well, we definitely have the traditional Thanksgiving food, um, turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, but I'm Korean, so we also usually have some sort of rice with kimchi. Kimchi is 
a definite must because we're Korean. Um, as well as various other um, Korean food, we usually have our relatives like potluck and bring something with them, so whatever they decide to bring. What do you do after the meal? Um, we are usually pretty comatose because of all the food that we've eaten. So we sit around and we usually talk. Sometimes the uh, grown-ups will play um, old Korean card games. Um, and the kids usually just sit around and talk or we go out to a movie. That's usually what we do. Well, have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. How do you spend Thanksgiving, Juan Carlos? I spend Thanksgiving with friends. Sounds nice. With all those friends, there must be some great food. What food is on the menu for Thanksgiving? My friends always cook the traditional Thanksgiving dinner. However, I bring also a dish from my home country, Venezuela. And what dish is that? Maracuchitos, which is plantain with cheese, fry, and uh, very, very delicious. It's always a hit. Mm, sounds good, sounds good. And how about for dessert? I usually also make a uh, sweet from pineapple and papaya. We serve that with ice cream. It is another hit. Wow, sounds like a fantastic meal. It is a big celebration. All this talk of food is making me hungry. I'm Anthony Russo from Dinner Table, wishing you and yours a happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Okay, so that's the celebration from the U.S. Let's get with the content for today. Just give me a minute. I have it ready for you here. Just give me a minute. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna work with adjectives today. This is gonna be the section. Um, whoa, qué pasó? Whoa, 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 whoa! What is happening here? Let me double check one more time. Okay, so today we're gonna work with comparative adjectives. Let's take a look at the following information, which is about comparatives. Let's listen and watch. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. By the end of so we're going to work with this comparative. Adjectives. We're gonna work with the basic one right now. Okay, so don't don't get too too high on this one. Okay, we have this typical expression when we are buying something, right? When we're buying something, and we have two options. Cuando utilizábamos which? Esta palabra which here. Para qué utilizábamos which? Eh, levante la mano si quiere participar, please. When do we use which? Uh -huh. 
If, if you want to participate, raise your hand so I can. Okay, Lorena, thank you. It is to. Es para, para, para escoger cuando se tienen opciones. Exactly. Well, we have auctions, right? Well, we have auctions. So you're buying some clothes at the clothing store and you have two options, right? We have the blue one and you have the red one. So you ask to your partner or like the person you, you, you're buying with, oh, which one, which sweater do you prefer? And you have the two with you, right? And the person answer, I prefer the, the blue one, right? And then we have another question, which do you like more, right? If it's about like, right? Which do you like more? I like the blue one more, okay? And then we have again, another one, which is about which one do you like better, right? I like the blue one better. The two one, these two, estas dos parentheses, means the same. Which one do you like more? Which one do you like better, right? Goes about this thing about like, something that you like. And then we have this typical expression with comparatives, right? It's nicer than the green one. It's nicer than, than the, the green one. It's prettier than the green one. It's more stylish than the green one, okay? So, para la mayoría vamos a utilizar el ER, Ok. Ok, para hacerlo comparativo y luego el dan. Ok, siempre vamos a comparar two things, two objects, right? Here we have some spelling rules like cheap, cheaper. So, R, nice, nicer. So, we have R, pretty. In pretty, vamos a quitarle la I, la Y, la I, letter Y. Le agregamos la letter I, y latina, y luego ER to make it bigger. And then we have with big, le duplicamos la letter G y le agregamos ER. So we got bigger. Again, this is like preferences, right? Preferences and also comparing things. Again, we need to compare two things and this one. So we can work like really good. Let me show you more examples about this one, okay? Can okay, manage so I can have them ready for you. Um, here we have some comparative adjectives. Tenemos different adjectives in English, right? Hay algunos que son cortos y otros que son largos, okay? So you can have an idea. We have one syllable adjectives and we have two syllable adjectives, okay? Yes? Y hay unos que son un poquito largos, okay? So we can have long is gonna be longer, tall is taller, straight straighter, large larger, big bigger, and hot hotter. Honest we have more honest, famous we have more famous. Okay, para estos va así, mire, honest. Si lo queremos hacer comparativo, tenemos que decir more honest. Y famous, tenemos que decir more famous, okay? Then we have happier, happy, happier. Crazy, crazier. Narrow, narrower. Gentle, gentler, okay? Gentler, that's what we have in here. So let's take a look at more examples. Aquí tenemos los de three syllables, que son los más largos de todos. And then below that, we have irregular adjectives. What is the meaning of irregular adjective? It's something that is, is different, right? Irregular is something that is pretty much very different from the other ones. If you take a look with three or more syllables, we use more, 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 more. Para hacerlo en comparative, okay? So tengo expensive, more expensive. Popular, more popular. Dangerous, more dangerous. Beautiful, more beautiful. Confident, more confident. Difficult, more difficult. And then with the irregulars, I have good, better, bad, worse, far, 
farther, many more, little less. And again, I have far, we have farther, farther, farther. So you can use both of them to confer something, right? At the end, it's up to you with this one. What are we going to do? This beautiful exercise that we have here, okay? Raul, ayúdeme a leer las instructions, please, Raul, with this one, please. Thank you so much. Bueno, las primeras casi no se ve, la... Oh, ahora? Ah, pues sí. Oh, I'm sorry. Preference, comparison with adjective. With adjectives of one or two syllables. Add. ER. ER to form the comparative. Cheap, cheaper. Nice, nice, nicer. nicer. Pretty, pretty, prettier. Prettier. Big, bigger. Very good. Continue. With adjective of three or more syllables. Use more plus adjective to form the comparative. Expensive, more expensive. Exact. Very good. So with two adjectives, with, I'm sorry, adjectives with one or two syllables, you are going to add ER. Yes, solo tenga cuidado con algunos special, like this ones. Okay, déjenme ver si lo puedo subrayar. Like this one, que cambia a little bit, right? Yeah. And con el resto de adjectives, que son long adjectives, like three or more syllables, you need to add antes del adjective more cuando lo use with comparative. Okay? Yes? So you are going to work with exercise A and exercise B. In exercise A, you, a, you need to write a comparative of this adjective, like the like example, right? Yes? We have attractive, boring, exciting, friendly, interesting, reasonable, sad, and warm, okay? And in letter B, you need to answer the questions in using the word in parentheses in your answer, for example. And then you need to write another sentence with the second word. So this is the sentence, right? Which palms do you prefer? The cotton ones or the wood ones? Entonces, usted tiene que responder, I prefer the wood ones. Y luego, dar una razón por qué. Okay, giving like a reason why, como comparándola con la otra, right? Yes, so you can say they're more attractive than the cotton ones. Okay, aquí tenemos el adjective para utilizar el la comparative. Okay, yes. Está claro the exercise? Yes, people? Hello, hello, hello. Yes, yes, questions? Yes, um, teacher. Okay, very good. Le voy a dar some time y cuando esté listo con el exercise, raise your hand so you can participate. Okay? And anytime I'm here, si no entendió, me avisa. Let me know so I can explain to you. This is about adjective of comparison. Okay, so we are comparing things using adjectives and also talking about preferences, right? I prefer, I prefer, right? Um, this is the way we're going to do this exercise. And if you have a question, let me know. So let's get to work on this one. And when you're ready, raise your hand.
Okay, Ernesto, no problem. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, thank you so much for letting me know. I understand that. Thank you so much. Um, again, this is about um, adjectives. If you have a question at home or if you do not understand the exercise, let me know. Andrea Landos, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Mi pregunta y mi confusión es a la hora de, digamos en el 2, que yo puse I like the gold one. Y luego sería is more, is, mi pregunta es el is. Oh, okay, bye. Oh, yeah, you need to identify is that a singular or plural? Very good. Very good. Like, you see, is this in singular or plural? The ring? Uh, plural? Uh, plural. No, look, at this. look at this. Which ring? Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just, we have two rings, right? Entonces, tiene que compararlos. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Entonces, they, they, no, 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 is. No, no, no. Sería is, exactly, because it's just like one, you're comparing one and one. Ok, y siempre eh, al final, do, eh, yo, en la cuatro, yo podría solo decir, I like more the purple shoes, o siempre tiene que, que ser de purple. Purple ones. Mm. No, you can say like the first one. I like more the, the purple one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can okay. say like that. That's no problem. Thank you. Probably good. Excuse me? Okay, what about now? Is better now? Teacher, no te escucha nada. Oh, yes. Sí, porque ahorita les estoy dando tiempo que terminen el exercise. Y no sé si ya lo terminaron. Oh, that's the reason why I'm unmuted. You know what I mean? Because. Um, um, you, se ve bien borroso también. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. Sí. No sé si todos lo ven borroso. así. Todos lo ven así. ¿Alguien más lo ve borroso? ¿Todos lo ven así o solo algunos? 
Yo ahorita lo veo bien. Es que es el se, se ve borroso cuando, se, cuando está fallando el internet. Oh, I'm, es que I'm se sorry. pone borroso. I'm sorry about it. Okay. Hmm. I apologize. Uh, le voy a enviar este, el, el, el exercise en el chat. En el caso, pues no lo pueda ver. Okay. Uh, so you can have it. Or if somebody can send it, that would be good as well. You know what I mean? Uh, we're working with adjectives and also set, like working with preferences, right? Uh, what are those things that you like? And how this thing works. Uh -huh. If you have a question, let me know anytime so I can help you out with this. It's in the chat. Okay, Alison, I'm sorry. Voy a ver si lo envío, Alison. Solo déjeme tomar la foto. So I can send it to you. Y lo tengan ahí para que lo vean también ahí en el... Um, lo voy a tomar with my Alcatel. Alcatel Plus. This is Plus, okay? That's why, that's why it's good. Okay, what's going on with this thing? Doesn't work, it did. Okay, I did it already, but doesn't work. Okay. I will send the image in the chat on soon for the ones that, that are not able to see this one uh, clearly. Okay. Uh, okay, come on. If you don't see it very well here, like live, the class, I will send you, I will send you this thing right now here. It's like P1. Okay. So, um, oh, no, no, no. This is not the one. Oh, there you have the exercise in case you didn't see it. You can check the chat. It's available. The chat is available on, on WhatsApp. Um, check that. And when you're ready, let me know so you can participate today. Okay. Lorena del Carmen. The second teacher. Oh, okay, perfect. Do it. Which ring do you like better, the good one or the silver one? I like the the gold the gold one better. Ay, no veo. Me veo dos otra vez. Me voy a ir al chat y de ahí lo voy a hacer porque no lo he escrito tampoco. Ahorita. Okay. Okay. Which ring do you like better, the gold, the gold one or the silver one? I I like the gold one better. It, it is more interesting than the the gold one. Than the silver, than the silver than one. The si Very no, good. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, porque me dijo que prefería el the gold one, right? The gold one, yes. Exactly. So then you need to say, oh. I, um, it is more interesting than, than the silver one. Exactly. Than the silver one. Exactly. Yeah. Or than the silver. You can say it like that. Okay. Than the silver. Okay. Very good. Great job. That's the way. That's the way, right? Is you're comparing two things. Great job. What about number three? Who has finished? Who has finished with number three? Okay, Andrea Landos, thank you. Um, I prefer the silk jacket. It's prettier than wood jacket. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Great job. What about number four? 
What about number four? Uh, let me check. Stephanie, thank you, Stephanie. Number four, please. Okay. I prefer the black shoes one. They are more comfortable than the purple ones. Okay, you use comfortable, right? Comfortable. They're more comfortable. Very good. Thank you so much. Great job. Great job. Thank you so much. Let me see what else do I have here. Oh, no. That's for the other next class. It's going to be next class on Monday. Yeah. Don't forget that you need to do exercise A, where you need to write um, more and also ER at the end of the um, adjectives, right? To make them like uh, comparatives. Okay. Um, I will I will take the attendance one more time. Um, we have just like 10 minutes left. Uh, please, when you hear your name, say present. I'm here. Okay. Alison, Daniela, Delaya. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Alison. Um, let me see. Ana Zamora. Hello, Ana. Good evening. Are you here? No. What about Andrea Marisol? I think she sent me a message. Andrea Marisol, are you here? Let me check if she joined us late today. Andrea. Andrea. Uh, no. Andrea Marisol. Okay. Okay. No. No, she isn't. Not here in the class. Um, what about Andrea Landos? Present. Thank you so much. Uh, Barbara Cabrera. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Brenda. Present, teacher. Carolina del Carmen. Thank you, Brenda. Present, teacher. Claudia Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Cristina Monge. Hello, Cristina. Are you here? No? Okay, what about um, Daniela Asensio? You know? Present. Oh, yes, Daniela. El, Edgardo, I think you told me that you have problems, right? Let me check. Edgardo, really quick. Oh, yes, Edgar is here. Thank you so much. Um, also, Ernesto Ventura. Hello, Ernesto. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Hello. Nice to Thank have you, Ernesto. Griselda Moreno. Oh, Griselda. Thank you. Ivania Mendoza. Hello, Ivania. No? Okay. What about Jennifer Torres? Jennifer Torres, are you here? No? Okay. Oh, I think she was here, right? Paola Moss. Hello, Paola. Are you here? No. Um, Jennifer Marroquin. Hello, Jennifer. Are you here? Uh, no. What about Jocelyn Mancia? I'm uh, here, teacher. Karen Garcia. Thank you so much. Um, I'm here, teacher. Carla Colocha. Thank you so much. Um, Laura Molina. I'm here. Thank you. Leslie Oriana. Leslie, thank you. Elizabeth. Elizabeth de Rodriguez. I'm here. Thank you so much. Lorena del Carmen Hernández Hernández. Um, Lucía Cepeda. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Mayra Méndez. Hello, Mayra. No, okay. What about Raúl? Hello, Raúl. I'm here. Thank you so much. Uh, Dalila. Hello, Dalila. Hello. And also we have Ruth Del Carmen and Stephanie Abigail. Stephanie here. Abigail. Thank you, so much. Thank you, Leslie. Okay. People, just before we leave, we're going to check this exercise, which is about letter A. Somebody at home, raise your hand so you can participate on this one, please. Letter A, exercise A.
exercise A. If not, it's going to be random people like here. Okay. Lorena, thank you, Lorena. Please. The number two. Number two. More, more boring. More boring. Very good. Thank you so much. Great job. Alison, what about number three, Alison? Alison, what is in number three? Lucia, what is um, it number Hello, teacher. Alison, what is in no, number no three? No puedo ver bien, te veo borroso. Barry, number, number three. Barry? Um, uh, more, more exciting. Easy peasy, right? More exciting. Very good. And, and let me see. Ernesto, continue with number four. Ernesto, please. Thank you. What is in number four? What do we have in number four? Mm -hmm. We have friendly. Oh. Yes, more friendly. Yeah, friendly. More friendly. Very good. Okay. More friendly. Griselda. What about number five, Griselda? Uh, cinco is more, more interesting. Exactly, more interesting, right? More interesting on something. Uh, then we have let me see, Raul, what is the next one, Raul? Thank you. More reasonable. More reasonable, more reasonable, very good. Reasonable, thank you. Uh, Lisbeth, what about number seven, Lisbeth? What is the answer in number seven? Yes, I what I Exactly, that is correct, Sather. Sather, very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, what's going on with this thing? Okay. Mm -hmm. And what is the last one? It's going to be for you. Uh, Ruth, chicas, thank you so much, Ruth. More warm. Okay, warmer. And in this case, we're going to have warmer, okay? Warmer, okay, thank you so much. Great job. Just give me a minute, I need to double check something here. Um, uh, number two, teacher, ¿cuál era? Number two, we have more, more boring. It's more boring. Okay. Uh, what happened is es que este termina en ING. That's the reason why. Exactly, exactly. Because it ends in ING, uh, goes with that rule. Okay. Right. Yeah, number number seven. Como era, teacher? Warmer. No, seven. Oh, it's sadder. Sadder is with double D. S A double D E R. Sadder. Okay. So how do we make these ones comparative? So we can use like, for example, um, so we can say um, Jennifer Lopez is more attractive than Angelina Jolie, let's say, right? Yeah. English is more boring than Spanish, let's say, right? So that is the way we compare it to them, right? So we use it, Lisbeth. Or, for example, um, 
um, Jenny is is the most friendly. Oh, that is something else. That is something else. Okay, is the most. That is, oh, is the is, most. Is the most. Superlativo. Este es superlativo. Mm -hmm. Ahorita estamos with comparatives, okay? Ahorita estamos solo comparando two things. Luego, oh, okay. luego van a ver superlatives, okay? Later you will you will like study superlatives. Right now it's just comparatives when we're comparing two things, right? Um, yeah, okay. Thank you. Let's select random people for this thing. Um, Griselda, ayúdeme. Can you give me an example using one of these adjectives, please? Thank you. ¿Qué es lo que voy a hacer? Usando alguno de estos adjetivos, deme un ejemplo de comparison. Uh, Eh, lo siento, teacher, yo creo que si no les ha significado, no les puedo dar el ejemplo. Oh, that's okay, no problem. Ahorita le ayudamos, okay? Ayúdeme, Brenda, please, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Let me select another one. Um, let me check. Stephanie, can you help me out with this one, please? One example. Thank you. Estoy no, por volando, teacher, una. Si <laughs> tiene que estar con actores. No, con cualquiera. No. You can use interesting, oh. friendly, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the time. It's time is over, I apologize, okay? We're going to stop it here, people. Enjoy your weekend. Be nice and be kind and practice your English. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Salva por la campana. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye, y'all.